Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race, and today we'll be installing the subframe connectors in the Camaro. As you guys remember in the last video, we cut out a bunch of bars that we don't need. Well, now it is time to start putting some bars back in this car. So we're gonna start with the subframe connectors underneath the chassis. I ended up picking up this rock solid motorsports subframe kit. It comes with four laser cut pieces. This one's already welded for the tube to slide in down here. These bars are already cut at an angle and where they install is right here. So as you guys can see, this is kind of the subframe there. We have it over there as well. I've been grinding and cleaning some of the area on it. And then on the rear, you have another little subframe here. I was thinking it was gonna weld originally on this piece, but it's actually the inner piece here. So I've been grinding and cleaning on it to give me an area to weld. And then as you guys can see over there, been doing the same thing. So kind of got that area cleaned up. So we're gonna weld against it. So of course you have one passenger side, one driver side. This is the driver side here. What you do is it tucks right. So this tucks right up in here. As you guys can see, I had to actually notch my little piece just a little bit here extra. Since my front subframe piece is pretty bent through here, that didn't help much with this fit up here. So I had to do a little massaging to get it to fit up a little bit better. So I think my plan is to tack this all in the car here and here, let this flow on there. And then once all of this looks good and in place, I'll cut the tacks off of this, drop it back out, and then weld it all back together. Then it'll go up, and then all I have to do is finish welding all the way around the edges of this to tie it to the chassis. So then I can do nice TIG welds right around the tubes out here. And also, if you were to weld this onto this, tack it in there and try to weld up across the top, up under the car, that would almost be impossible because you have to be able to look down at that weld. That's the plan for this video, so let's get installing this thing. I got the TIG welder all fired up. Got my rod here, pedal here. I also have a thumb control if needed to try to get up there uh, because sometimes you need an extra hand there or you can't get your foot where you need it. But we're gonna try this. I'm gonna try just holding it in place and putting a little tack there to hold it there. I tried using like some uh, magnets to try to hold it in place, but it wants to kind of cock it a little weird and all that stuff. So. Let's see, uh, see if I can do this. On this first try, since I can't really use any filler material, but I'm just gonna try to hold it in place, something like that. And I can tell right here, there's some extra little material from a pinch weld. So I'm gonna just weld right there and try to bridge it to where to hold it in place. And then I can get up in there and tack another piece. Whenever you're tack welding something like this, you don't want to go too much or like really weld it in there because then you won't be able to get it off very easy. So. Definitely put your tack welds anywhere where it is easily visible to cut it so you can remove this thing, pull it back out, and weld it all up. It's kind of on there. A little more of a spot. Enough. Leave it like that. I might add a little more weld to that because there's not much there, but add one more, make sure it's tight up in here. As long as that's the case, then I can put the bar in here, tack weld it all up, and then come back and cut these, release it, and let it drop. All right, so first piece is tacked in. Let's see if we're pretty tight. Yeah, I think we're tight most of the way around. Little gap here, little gap there but this should work otherwise it's pretty tight all the way around and should make it fairly easy to weld for the most part so with these pieces and stock body panels and stuff just trying to do what i can to get everything as tight as possible say like 90 or 95 percent of the area that touches i think that's not too bad as long as the welds will hold it so i can get my other piece up in here and then tack that on so all i had to do on this is take my little flap disc and clean off the edge a little bit and then this plate slid right on so it's actually all the way through it doesn't butt up to it it actually does go into that plate so this kind of holds itself so all I really need to do is get this held up into the car and then I can figure out exactly where that side needs to tack onto the plate that is now in there so I'm running into one little issue but I think I mean it's probably designed this way it doesn't go all the way up in there because it is hitting the floor. So I need to notch the floor just a little bit or, you know, use a fix all, knock that in a little bit, flatten the floor. So then this can go up here and tuck to it. So working on clearancing this little area right here is where the tube kind of rubs to get back there so it can sit flat up against the floor. 
So I took this little piece of round and I'm just using a jack to kind of bow the floor up just a little bit, taking it easy, just kind of working that area up until I get enough clearance for the tube to just slide right along the floor and tie in back there. So we're getting closer, still got a little gap here. Looks like I need to kind of clearance this a little bit. And then up front here, we may need to clearance this little cross piece here, just a hair. It's real, real close, but uh, not sure yet. So we'll have to see. This might be, because on this on that side, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have any of those issues. This side, this might not be helping, kind of how this has been smashed in. If all this was down about, you know, that much more, then it'd probably be right on it, but that's just kind of what I'm dealing with. And chances are, if you guys have a high mileage Camaro, you're dealing with the same thing. Floor jack and on this jig with everything bolted down, lifesaver for this deal. So I had a clearance just a little bit right there, and now it tucks up real nice and tight. And then back here, I ended up being back further than I thought, as you guys can see from kind of where I had it cleaned to where it sits now. It actually sits a little bit further back. This piece is kind of rotated, but I just threw that tack on there to hold it. Once I get that side tacked and everything's nice and tight with that bar, then I can rotate that little back mount and then I'll put a tack on the bar so it locates it. Well, everybody, welcome to Uncomfortable Positions to Weld In. So <laughs> we uh, got a few tacks on there. Got a couple of them on there so then it won't go anywhere. And uh, now I can slide up out of the car and go back to the back and rework that spot. This install would be probably pretty decent on a like a four post lift except for where I'm trying to jack up on the car and like kind of notch stuff. Um, because the, the car is mounted here and it's actually pretty solid. So that part's nice but the uh, no room below me definitely be better on a four post lift to do this part. So we got one side fit up tacked up and everything so i'm gonna go ahead and cut i already cut the tack over there cut the tacks over there and drop that bar out of there and then i can fully weld it up on the house of the car tack together piece is out and I started welding a little bit. It's all right where my tack was at and went, as you guys can tell. You guys can see that all right, not too bad. Definitely been a while since I bust out the old TIG welder, but we're gonna TIG together and then I'll kind of keep welding on this stuff and then start putting that side together as well so they kind of go together at the same time and then install them both. Oh, fucked up side of the seven Well, worked on some of this, still cleaning over there, and even Alex showed up today. So I jumped over from yesterday, a couple hours in yesterday, and then we'll put in a few more hours today, try to get these braced. I'm gonna get that one all tacked up. I've been welding this one as I've had some time, so we'll just keep going. Alex's wise words of the day. What do you got? I don't know yet. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Working on the passenger side now, I kinda got it set up in here, still have a gap here, and it's touching here and here on the floor, so I'm gonna take my little round piece that I had yesterday, kind of clearance it, but otherwise up here, no problems. So up towards the front there, we'll have no issues at whatsoever. So easy enough up through there. Just gotta clearance the back a little bit. All right, so clearance it a little bit here and there. And now that fits tight, gonna go ahead and weld that up there. And then we can move up here and weld there and get this piece tacked up there. And pasture side is tacked together, so Gonna go ahead and work on welding that all up. Once we get this one fully welded, then we can reinstall them. And then 
weld up like portions of it and at least as long as it's solid enough then we start adding the bars to the rest of it although there's some stuff i think what we're going to do inside the car is actually clean up so i need to like add this in there for the uh, tunnel opening and all that stuff but is cut out all like that bracing over there cut out all this bracing right here cut out the seat mounts just try to ditch some of this weight cut some of this out uh, just you know grind the little spot welds and get rid of it so then we can drop a little bit more weight and then we might even go crazy and cut some of the lower roof structure out of it to lose some weight out of the roof structure now that the car is getting a full cage in it with the funny car and everything else so we can go ahead and lose some of that rigidity of that factory structure that ain't gonna work Nope. Already off the bad start. What kind of gloves do you? Oh, kind of like what I got. I have these red ones over here too that probably work for you. Oh, yes, for me. They fit. My hand just goes there enough to hold the damn ring. Switch. Trying to find spot oils. Oh, that's good times. Yep. If you guys do much uh, TIG welding and you gotta sharpen your tungsten, these little tools are awesome. You shove the tungsten kind of right in here, it holds it at the right angle. It's got a little diamond bit in there. This makes it really, really nice to sharpen up your tungsten. That easy. Take it. Weld a little bit, let it cool. Weld a little bit, let it cool, so we don't try to warp anything. This is all pretty thick, so I don't think it's going anywhere. Alrighty, so getting these subframes put back on after they're completely welded. Already tacked up that side a few ways, and then uh, on this other side. See if I can get you guys a good look in there. There you guys go. Tacked it there on the outside a couple times. Tacked it on the inside a few times. On this side, as you can see, I'm having to use some clamps to pull it tight, to pull the plate up tight up on the inside. There is a little bit of a gap up in there and I'll have to use some more clamps, but I want to get it started here. So got to tack there, got to tack up in there as well. So now I can release these clamps, use the jack to push up so I can kind of tighten up this little gap that we got going on right here. All right, so there it is. One subframe connector's in. And wait for it. The other subframe connector is installed. So I have some welds on the inside. I have a few tacks out here, a couple tacks out here. I'm gonna just keep welding these as I go and finish it up, welding it as we kind of complete the car and everything else. But otherwise it's far enough for you guys to see. If you're trying to install your own, that's how it's done. I think, close enough. Actually, this one ended up working out really well. It's really tight even though it's all bent. So every car is a little different, probably has a different character because of you know the life that it's lived so that's it for the rock solid motorsports subframe connector install for this video as you guys will see in the future ones i'll finish them up as far as welding but it's not much for you guys to see other than a whole bunch of welding so we'll be coming back next time trying to clean up some more of these little things cut some weight out of it and then hopefully starting to add some bars to add onto this cage but otherwise that is the start of this 25.5 cage update build yeah so if you guys like what you're watching hit the like button leave me a comment below let me know what you think and otherwise we'll see you guys in the next video